It's hump day here at Southside. I'm Courtney Watson. Today on Hot TV, we will be talking about the local restaurant that is sponsoring the soccer team. Plus, I'm Kelsey Key. Do you know what varsity sports team has one of the best records at Southside? The answer may surprise you. Hog TV starts now. Welcome back. Congrats to the golf team on their district tournament championship win. River Scoggins had the top score by shooting the 75. Again, congrats to Coach Carson on the golf team. The boys will compete in the region tournament in Milan on Monday. Another varsity team that is having a great season is the girls soccer team. Halt TV reporter Kelsey Key caught up with members of the team and has this report. Our Lady Hawks soccer team is having a great season. As of Friday, September 13th, their record was 5-3, and three, with tough losses to three of the best teams in the district, Lexington, McNary, and Chester County. I talked to three of the seniors on the team about their successful season. I'm Megan Collins. I play midfield for the Southside Lady Hawks. I play I'm Skylar Thomas, and I play left midfield for the Southside soccer team. My name is Martha Perez. I play center mid for the Lady Hawks. We've, we've started off really strong and hopefully we'll be able to finish out strong too. Yes, I think we started out really great and really strong and I think that we will be able to end it just as well as we began it. I do feel positive about the season because we got a good team this year. Not only have the Lady Hawks had a winning season so far, they've also had a lot of fun and strengthened their friendships with each other. I think it's safe to say that they're more than just a team, they're a family. Megan, Schuyler, and Martha all agreed that the team's chemistry on and off the field contribute to their success so far. Girls, we've, we've played together for two or three years now, so we, we know how we play with each other. So we've done, we've done a lot of practicing together. We, we, we know how to read each other. I think all of the girls contribute to our success because we all play very well together and we all get along and we have just a good team bond. We actually get along pretty well on and off the field. Coach Margaret Day is in her third season as head coach of the Lady Hawks. This is by far the most successful season that we've had and we're number one on our side of the district. Really, really proud of those girls right now. Well, the girls who have been here for the last three years, they're working together, they're playing as a team, and it's really contributed to the success this season. Coach Day has big hopes for her team in the postseason. I want to get to state this year. We have a really big chance to get to state. Um, we just have to win a couple more games and win in that district tournament and we'll get there. That's what I'm hoping. I want to end on top and make sure these girls know that the soccer team at Southside High School is a huge success. Coach Day also wanted to thank those who came to Spirit Night on Monday, September 16th and to invite everyone to come to Wings Night on Tuesday, September 24th. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody who came out to Spirit Night on Monday. It was a great success. Hope you liked your prizes. Monday, we're having our Wings Night sponsored by Wing Stop. If anybody is interested in competing in our wing eating contest for a chance to win $50, come on out, come visit me, and I'll give you an entry form. Get your $10 entry fee and eat some free wings. Win some cash. Come on out. We need you there. For Hawk TV, I'm Kelsey Key. Thanks, Kelsey. Their next game will be Thursday in Gibson County. Ms. Dalton is taking orders for homecoming t-shirts. See Ms. Dalton ASAP to order one $15 for short, short sleeve and $20 for long sleeve. See her in room 12E. We will be right back. Did you know when texting while driving, you are 23 more times likely to be involved in an auto accident than a non-texting driver? Five seconds the amount of time your attention is taken away from the road when texting. So remember, stop the text, stop the wrecks. Welcome back. 
While several seniors didn't participate in the magazine drive, others went beyond it to make fundraisers a success. Hawk TV reporter Kayla Johnson is on the scene with the top seller in the magazine drive. Hi, my name is Kayla Johnson and the class of 2014 recently finished selling magazines to raise funds for their year like TVs. This year's fundraiser was the biggest in recent history. The students sold about $17,000 worth of magazines. Out of all 183 seniors, Katie Pittman sold the most magazines. Sold 42 magazines. Oh my gosh, I don't remember in recent history that any student ever sold 42 magazines. Each senior had the challenge to sell as many magazines as they could. We request that each uh, senior sell 10 magazines and she has gone far above that. You may be wondering how she sold so many magazines. I just went around to people who had theirs from last year and just got them renewed. Uh, the majority of the magazines are very popular uh, that most people have in their homes. Time, Sports Illustrated, uh, Popular Science. Katie raised $866. All the money raised in the fundraiser goes towards the senior class. The seniors sell the magazines in order to raise money to pay for prom, graduation, and awards day. Seniors, the next fundraiser is the Miss Southside pageant. It's the second Saturday in November and the time is 6 o'clock. So get your pageant dresses ready and your hair manicures all set up. For this hump day edition of Hawk TV, I'm Kayla Johnson. Thanks, Kayla. Next fundraiser will be for Project Graduation. Speaking of Project Graduation, there will be a Project, po project Graduation meeting on September 23rd here in the library at 6 o'clock. All seniors are expected to attend. Reminder that there will be an away football game against Chester County on the oncoming Friday. Come out and support our Hawks. I hope we get another division win, and if we execute plays better, and we run a little bit, uh, if we do different ones instead of doing the same ones over and over, I think we'll do a lot better. Halt TV reporter Tana Camp had the opportunity to interview Southside High School volleyball player Shelby Bradford, but before that, we will take a quick commercial break. We will be right back. You don't work out often, do you? No, it's just too exhausting, and I don't have time. It's exhausting, but it has its benefits. What kind of benefits? Exercising helps you sleep better, helps your bone muscles and joints to grow properly, helps your stress levels, reduces your risk of chronic disease and type 2 diabetes, it helps lower your blood pressure, you'll feel better about yourself, and have a good output on life. Six, Six reasons, reasons to commit to, commit to be, be fit. fit. Lady Hawks volleyball team earned its 15th win of the season on Monday with a victory over Milan. Hawks TV reporter Tana Camp caught up with one member of the team who stands out the most. When you attend a Southside volleyball game, one thing will automatically stand out to you. Shelby Bradford's neon yellow jersey. It is not a fashion statement, it is related to her position. I'm the libero, so I can go in for anybody at any time without having to stop the game. Shelby plays a huge role on the volleyball team. According to one of the teammates, she impacts the team a lot. She affects the team by showing hard work and good sportsmanship. Shelby is a good player, but it's hard to believe she has only played for a few years. I've been playing since I was a freshman, so this will be my third year. She also is known for a good sense of humor and being very friendly. She knows how to make the team feel good. She does. Every time we make a good play, she says good job and, you know, a way to be there and things like that. Bradford is one of the most important players on the team. Shelby originally played softball but wanted to try a new sport. I started because I've never played the sport before and I just wanted to see how it was, so I just started playing. She worked very hard to get where she is today and the team looks up to her. We do. We, we show... We see that she does so many things, and we do look up to her because we want to be like that. Shelby's teammates are impressed in the way she plays the game. Running in the walls. <laughs> she's all the time running in the walls because she's all the time hustling. Shelby is more than just a teammate to the girls on the team. She is a friend. I am. She's a really good teammate of mine, and she's a good friend. 
she's a good person. Shelby has proved that with a lot of practice, you don't have to be good at a sport to play. Just keep practicing to get where you want to be. Anything is possible. For this home day edition of Hawk TV, I'm Tana Kemp. Thanks, Tana. Be sure to support our Hawks on September 9th against Chester County. After tuning for English, we'll meet Monday through Tuesday, Thursday, in the library. Matt Tudor will meet on Monday, Miss Johnson's room, room 1. Tuesdays, Miss Bron Dr. Bryant's room, 30E. And Wednesdays, in Miss Green's room, 4E. Well, that's all we have today on Hot TV. I'm Courtney Watson, and don't forget, today is hump day. Guess what day it is? Hawk Day! <laughs> Hawk Day! <laughs> Hawk Day! 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 H